Hello and welcome back to this series of videos on corpus linguistics. So today, as you can see, we'll be looking for constructions in a corpus. Okay. Now, obviously, we cannot look for every single construction uh, in one video, right? But uh, yeah, we'll see some examples, and through these examples, we sort of get the logic behind the operations that we show, and uh, also we'll see some tricks that you can use in order to look for constructions. Okay. Now, the examples that will be shown in this video uh, are the following. So, first of all, we look for the construction as adjective as, yeah, for example, as young as, right? Uh, then we look for this construction, adjective, followed by a or an, followed by a singular noun. For example, higher level. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you have come across uh, such a construction, uh, yeah, in your readings or whatever. And third, we look for determiner, followed by an adjective, followed by a noun. Yeah, you already know this one. So the huge house, for example. And finally, we'll see cases of prepositional stranding. That is when uh, sentences or phrases end with a preposition, uh, unlike what our teachers have been telling us, right? Anyway, so for, to give an example, yeah, I love talking about nothing. Uh, it is the only thing I know anything about. Moving on. So in order to do that, we'll need a tagged corpus. Now, if you want to tag your corpus using tag ant, link is in the description. And of course, we'll need uh, antconc, right? Or you can use any concordance software, but it is best to use antconc so that you can follow the steps uh, shown in the video. Uh, right, since the corpus will be tagged with tree tagger, then uh, these are the tags or the list of tags that I'll be using in this video. And finally, uh, for the corpus, I'll be using the English and linguistics section of the ball corpus. Right, so let us start. So open Antskank, you get uh, something like this. Yeah, you know the drill, go to file, open files, and select all of the files. Uh, yeah, you can hide the tags if you want. So go to hide tags, while at the same time, allow for Antskank to search in concordance tool and so on. So hit apply, now we can start. So let us look for the first construction that is as, followed by an adjective, followed by as. So you know that the tag for adjective is underscore JJ. So as you have seen in previous videos, in order to look for all instances of adjectives, then all we have to do is type in asterisk, which stands for any number of characters that are tagged with JJ. That is the tag for adjective. So now the obvious thing to do is to yeah, look for something like this, right? As followed by asterisk underscore JJ followed by as. Well, that wouldn't work. And what we need to do is look for something like this. So as tagged with anything, uh, white space, then any number of characters tagged with JJ, white space again, and you can simply type in as. Now, the reason why we need to do this is because the word as is sometimes tagged as an adverb or as a preposition. So in order to get both of these uh, results in one simple search, then it is better to yeah, write this expression right here. So do that. And now, as you can see, all instances of this construction are displayed in front of you. So you have as acceptable as, as beautiful as, as clear as, and so on and so forth. Right, so this is concerning the first construction. Now, Let's move to the second construction, which is, yeah, adjective followed by a or an followed by a singular noun. Now, again, we already know that the tag for adjective is underscore JJ. The tag for determiner is underscore DT and the tag for singular noun is underscore NN. Now, I know that you don't really have a problem figuring out what the search term will be. Obviously, we'll, yeah, type in something like asterisk with the tag jj, followed by uh, a or asterisk with the tag dt, and followed by an asterisk with the tag nn for singular noun. So, yeah, we need to look for both of these cases, cases in which the determiner is a and cases in which the determiner is n. We do not want to look for cases in which the determiner is dt, right? So we can't uh, type in asterisk with the tag dt. But if we look only for this expression right here, then results containing n will not show. So 
I, I guess you can already see where I'm going with this, right? So in order to look for both of these uh, expressions in one simple expression, let's say, then all we have to do, yeah, you guessed it, write something like this. So asterisk, there is any number of characters with the tag for adjective, then a, either followed by nothing or followed by a character, that will give us n, right? With the tag dt, of course, that stands for determiner, and yeah, you guess the rest. So do that, and now as you can see, all instances of that construction are displayed in front of you. So you have such a binding to... <laughs> what? Such a binding to bills above? Damn, these texts are extreme, man. Uh, I don't know what the topic here, I don't, I don't know what they're talking about, but <laughs> it is really interesting. Uh, yeah, normal corpus linguistic stuff. Yeah, sometimes you get things that you do not really expect. And uh, this is the beauty of it, right? You, you'll never get bored. Uh, anyway, moving on. So, yeah, as I've said, you get all instances. So, examples like likely a case, such a design, and so on and so forth. Right? Sometimes you get cases in which, yeah, the word combination is not really a construction. For example, here, uh, asymmetrical, then obviously the sentence ends. Or, yeah, and then you have a grammar is, etc. So, asymmetrical a grammar is not a case of that uh, construction. So, as I've said, you cannot really trust these, uh, yeah, taggers, uh, yeah, 100%. So, it's better to do some manual checking. But, yeah, most of the cases are accurate. So, such a point, greater presence, such a separation, etc. And here, you may notice that all of these examples contain only the determiner a, but if you scroll further down the list, you'll get also cases in which the determiner is n. So that's good. Right. Now let's see the third uh, construction. So now we'll look for determiner followed by adjective, followed by any uh, type of nouns. There is plural nouns, singular nouns, proper nouns, etc. Now you already know that the tag for dt, for determiner, sorry, is dt. Yeah. And the tag for adjective is jj. Right. But the tag for nouns uh, could be nn, could be nns, that is plural noun, could be a proper noun, could be plural proper noun. Uh, Vikings, for example. So, you already know what to do, yeah? Since all of these tags have something in common, which is the first character, n, and what changes is what comes afterwards, then in order to yeah, look for all of these uh, tags at once, then yeah, what we need to do is write something like this. So underscore n followed by asterisk which stands for any number of characters. So the expression now would be in order to get the construction determiner adjective noun is something like this. So any determiner that is any number of characters with the tag dt followed by any number of characters with the tag jj again any number of characters with the tag n and whatever comes afterwards either ns, nn and so on. Right, it should be noted that there is a white space between all of these uh, these expressions, yeah, obviously. So, uh, look for that, and now as you can see, all instances of that construction are displayed in front of you. So, the apparent union, yeah, the above arguments, the above charts, etc. Right, and yeah, as you scroll further down the list, you'll get also cases in which the determiner is n or a, and so on. Right, now for the last example, which is preposition stranding. So this is a case in which the preposition ends the sentence. So that is, we'd expect a preposition to be followed by a, a full stop, a comma or colon and so on, a semicolon, so on, sorry. So in order to do that, we know that the tag for preposition is in. We also know that the tag for end punctuation is underscore sent or s-e-n-t. Now, yeah, I don't even have to say it. You know what to do. Yeah, look for this uh, expression. Yeah, and then you'll get something like this. So these are all the cases uh, in which prepositions end a sentence. Uh, remember when our English teachers used to tell us never to end a sentence with a preposition? Well, how about this? Uh, anyway, you may notice here that the tag for... Uh, and punctuation is not hidden, even though we have hidden our tags. And this is because antconc doesn't treat punctuation mark as letters. 
So if you want to hide these tags as well, then go to global settings, uh, go to token definition, and here, append following definition, you can add uh, full stop, semicolon, uh, comma, whatever you, whatever it is that uh, it is tagged with and punctuation. So for this video, I simply chose uh, full stop, hit apply, and now as you can see, the tags for end punctuation are hidden. Right, this is another trick that you can use. Okay, so I, I, I guess that you sort of get the logic of how to look for constructions and you can apply these, uh, these patterns and yeah, this logic to, other, to look for other constructions. Okay, now for the next video, we'll see something really interesting. Yeah, we'll introduce regular expressions. Right, uh, we'll see how to look for specific parts of speech and constructions as well using regular expressions. Now, how do regular expressions look like? Well, we will explain a pattern like this. Yeah, this may seem scary. This may seem, uh, I don't know, difficult, but it's really not. It's really easy. And stay tuned for the next video. We'll explain everything step by step. So once again, thank you for watching the videos. I hope you learned uh, something new from, uh, from these videos. Yeah. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao.